Hey guys, welcome back to Melissa's Cricut Creation. Today I'm going to teach you how to turn pictures into letters or numbers or whatever you want to use it from. I saw a lot of people in my group ask how did I do it. It's very simple and I just wanted to show you. So if you haven't already, go ahead and join Boss Beginnings, which is a Facebook group. And um, as always, go ahead and like this video, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you'll be notified anytime I upload. And as always, let's get to crafting and we'll always be crafters crafters it's just in our blood make a t-shirt or a mug hobby live is just for us all right guys all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do is and i am doing this from my phone um i bought a svg for graduation for my cousin off of esty however you say it and we're going to upload it okay so this is what it looks like and so we're going to highlight it and we're going to ungroup it and we're going to get rid of this just so i can show you just what you need to know what you came here for you want to know how do we get these numbers all right so this can work with any number so you can literally type in a number and do this but this already came with the 2021 so this is what i need okay so it's already highlighted. I'm going to go to, I'm already on actions. I'm going to ungroup it so I can give them one by one. So we want to turn each letter into a picture. So I'm going to upload the pictures that were sent to me. All right. And we're going to put it on the canvas. Now we're going to move this out of the way. All right, so we're going to put this picture there, this picture there. Did I not bring the other pictures in? All right, let's go back. I didn't do the other pictures. Upload. Oh, upload image. We need this picture and this picture. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this smaller and unlock it. Now, what you want to make sure is that, that you don't cut off the face. So, I'm going to bring the two to the front. Edit. Arrange. Front. And I want to make sure her face is in the two. I don't want to cut off her face. Uh -oh. There we go. I want to make sure her face is in the two. So we're going to highlight it, go to actions and splice. And if you're doing this from your computer, uh, I say splice, I'm sorry, slice. If you're doing this from your computer, on your right hand side at the bottom, you'll see slice. And make sure it's only um, the two items, the two layers that you're trying to change that are selected. Okay. So there's the two. Now let's do the zero. We're going to use this one. And again, I want to bring my zero to the front. And we're just going to make this picture smaller. And we want to remember we don't want to cut off our face. Perfect. So we're going to highlight it. Actions. Slice. Okay. Somebody called me out in the video and said, why does she keep saying splice? Well, I don't know why I keep saying splice. All I know is, let's see, what happened here? All right. So the middle will pull up. Why oh, didn't it do that? Hmm. Let's try this again. So what's going on? What's going on? I don't know how I was able to do that. It probably pulls out of the middle. But I'm just going to do it again. All right. 
I don't know what that was about last time, but here we go. Now we have a circle. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to use this picture for this one. Let's bring it to the front. Again, we don't want to cut off her face. So we're going to make it smaller. And action, slice. Ah, it's so hard for me to say slice. I want to say splice so bad. I didn't do it. Hold on. Let's do it again. Because it wants me to say splice. I bet it'll do it then. And her face is being cut off. So we're going to put it here. And we're going to drag it down. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to. I'm trying to get the picture. We're going to drag it down a little. There we go. And slice. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Uh-huh. And last but not least, this is not one of the best pictures because it's so small that it's going to stretch out, but she refused to send another picture. So we got to make it do what it do with what we have. And we're going to arrange to the front. I don't want to get the cap in here. And when you're doing this, remember to move the picture size. Don't, try not to move the numbers because the numbers all need to be the same size. So you don't want to get in the habit of moving the numbers. And you want to make sure the number is completely on the picture because when you slice it out, if you don't have it, uh, I moved the number, guys. But yeah, that's what you don't want to do. You want to move the picture and not the number. And before you get started, go ahead and find out the measurements of it. So if you accidentally move it, you'll know what measurement it is. So actions, slice. Look at that, look at that. And you can always, I guess, just resize it. So it's no biggie, I guess, when you put them all together. And that's it, guys. I'm, um, from here, I'll, you need some heat transfer paper. You're going to print it out from your regular printer. And then you'll have your Cricut uh, cut it out. Um, in the next scene, you'll see me applying these numbers onto the shirt. So I can show you what it looks like. All right. See you there. graduate all together that way I could have more space on my vinyl but yeah this is what it looks like and I did have it on this uh, heat transfer and so now I'll show you all you do is take it out as if it cuts right I did have to cut some of them by hand because for some odd reason Cricut decided to cut some good and some bad gonna weed it out it might be time for me to sharpen my needle all right I'm simply we're just gonna lay this one in here so you can see that. We'll cover it. <clears throat> Ouch. 
I have it on 15 seconds at 350 degrees. Voila. Now I just have to put the graduate on them. But it looks pretty good.